Welcome back. Well, we, uh, we need to uh, raise the pillars to get to the uh, get to the exit, and we didn't. We don't need to raise the pillars to get to the sparkly. You can actually raise the uh, the middle pillar to its full height and then climb up to the ladders to get the sparkly, and a little bit more easier than the uh, jump approach we just used. But we don't need to do that because we got it while jumping. So we need only to get the uh, exit, which means we need to pull a leftmost lever once, the next one four times, then the third one once, and the most right one sec uh, twice. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna do the third and fourth lever, and Nora can do the first and second. You can pull more than one lever at once, but you will still have to wait for each lever to uh, for that particular platform to raise all the way before you can pull it again. So I'm going to pull this one again. That takes care of my levers, we just need to pull the, this one twice more. And because Nora is the one doing that, I do believe that I will not get the special camera angle to, see, to watch that happening. Meaning that I can watch it from normal first person view, giving us a little bit of a different angle than what we got in the Complete Chronicles Let's Play. What's special? Oh. That special angle. <laughs> the one you're now getting, I guess. No, I'm not getting a special angle. Oh, yes. No. No, nothing's happened. Oh, weird. Did, Were you in first we or, or third person? Third person. Did we pull all the right levers? Yeah, because I, I can't see it fall down. But you're supposed to get a special... Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Special I remember angle when for I that. did it. Okay, well, anyway. I saw it happen from uh, first person. Oh, lady first. <laughs> <laughs> um. Come on, keep going. My av my avatar doesn't want to grab onto the ladder now. <laughs> there we go. Lots of ladder climbing climbing here, of course. Favorite activity. Ooh, this is a spooky angle. And this is a spookier ladder. Yeah, well, it never gets quite as bad as the... Uh, what's that age called? Voltaic, I think, in uh, Mist 3 with all the walkways with no safety railings <laughs> <laughs> over deep but abysses. But you can't actually fall in there, can you? You can fall. No, you can't. You can't fall down there, but you can't fall off the ladder here either. But <laughs> for inducing vertigo, and I f thought that was one of the worst places. Oh, especially when you have to go across on that pipe. Yeah. Although, where we're coming now, the uh, yeah, this is Kadish Vault is also a pretty vertigo-inducing uh, place. It especially if you use the way I used to uh, get to the... Uh, uh, get to get to um, the journey door, which is down there. And which Bad some audio. of us... Um, if you use the way I used, uh, which is during, uh, which is across this beam, then you also are suspended above a pretty damn high abyss on a precarious balance. Um, strangely enough, a lot of people after my Chronicles Let's Play said they never knew that you could walk across that beam. Conversely, I never knew that you could jump <laughs> from here. <laughs> yep. No, I was one of them. I was totally astounded, and I I jumped. I did the jump. So, I guess uh, when we get to that point, uh, we'll let uh, Nora walk across the beam and I'll make the jump. <laughs> First, we have to solve this particular puzzle. 
Um, again, it's a puzzle of missing numbers in the same way as the previous one, although a little bit more complicated. Um, this is really the kind of puzzle that I excel in at solving. Uh, so this wasn't a particular problem for me once I figured out what the idea was. There are two ways to solve this puzzle, um, although I only really noticed one. Um, can you move a little bit, Lore, because you're in my view uh, when I'm looking at the panel? Yes, thank you. Okay. We have here symbols, and this, of course, um, you need the... Uh, uh, clue at the end of the uh, Kadish Gallery for which connects each of those symbols to a number. And then if you uh, see that all of these numbers are between 1 and 6 and here if we Uh, if we look at the numbers here, sorry, I need to look, uh, find my notes where the actual numbers are, sorry. Uh, if we look at the, the which symbol is which number, we see that these are 2, 3, 4, and 6, meaning that 1 and 5 are missing. And we already see that this actually is the first button because it's labeled. And then the second one, um, that's uh, 4, 5, 6, and 6, meaning that... 1, 2, and 3 are missing. Then for uh, this one, that's 2, 5, 6, and 6. So that's 1, 3, and 4 that are missing. And we have for the fourth one, um, it's 6, 2, 3, and 1, meaning 4 and 5 are missing. Then we have 1, 4, 3, and 5, meaning 2 and 6 are missing. And finally, 4, 3, 5, and 2, meaning that um, 1 and 6 are missing. So, what you can do here is go by process of elimination. We know that this one is 1, so you can cross off the 1 for all of the other ones that are missing 1 then you'll find that um, the one on the right now has only one missing number, which is 6. So this one has to be 6, which means you can cross out the 6 for all of the others, leaving only 2 for this one, so you can cross out the 2 for all of the others, leaving only 3 for this one, so you can cross out 3 on all of the others, leaving only 4 for this one, cross out the 4, leaving only 5 for this one, and you have the order you need. Now there is uh, another way to solve this, and that is something I never actually figured out myself, but I read about it elsewhere. Because, um, well, using this uh, method of elimination isn't all that hard, I think, so that's what I uh, basically always used. But there is uh, another way you can solve this, and what, it, what you have to do is look at the next number in the sequence. If you look at the first button, it doesn't have a 1 in uh, its group of numbers, but it does have a 2. The second button doesn't have a 2, but it does have a 3. The third button doesn't have 3, does have 4. The fourth button is the one that doesn't have 4, does have 5. And the fifth button is the one that doesn't have 5, does have 6. And then the sixth one, sixth button is the only one that's left. Okay, well we got the order, so this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and six. And there it goes. Oh, yes, I, door. I could have uh, let Nora do that and stand near the door or something, but uh, oh well, we could see the door open from here anyway. It's not as if that's such an amazing view or anything. And again, an opportunity to screw people over if you close the door. <laughs> while they're still outside. Now, um, I do believe that, yes, the uh, future vault book is already here, and I think in the uh, Incomplete Chronicles you have to finish Path of the Shell before that shows up. Although I'm not entirely sure of that. 
And because that ties into uh, the whole Anone and Arcana thing, I'm not going to use this book yet. We'll come back here uh, once we finish that. For now, though, we'll continue in the next video.